Hi guys, uh, today we're out in the flatlands around Sudame River. I'll be looking for uh, alliums like uh, wild spring onions, uh, bulb onions, uh, nobidu, and uh, some wild garlic. This, do you see these? These are onions. Yeah. Nice. But they're they're tough already because they have the they're already flowering, and these drop off. These are the seeds. These will drop off, and then more onions. Is that the garlic? No, these are no, these, these are wild onions. Are the wild onions? Okay. Steve, can you do you see something here? Do you see? Do I see something? Yeah. Oh, do you want to see something? Do you see something? Do you see something? Uh. Are these the, uh... <laughs> hmm? Oh, the onion. Uh, oh! Garlic. Oh, I'm coming in. Sorry, Fuzzy. Oh, it's huge. Oh, oh, look at the size of your root, Roger. Wow. <laughs> That's what she <you> said. <laughs> <laughs> The best part is the flower. Really oh, good. I know, I know, I know, we'll have it actually. Yeah. Mm. Stripping all the bushes before we get to it. Yes, I think that's, I think she heard us. <laughs> that's okay. Because she skipped that tree. She just like, uh, Can I have a little one? Sure. Sniff. Right. Oh, nice. So if you go out to the grasslands, uh, you can usually they're kind of hard to find, but you can you can spot the the allium or the the wild garlic and the uh, wild onions uh, from the stalks that stick out. Especially in early spring, you can find the the flowers that haven't really bloomed yet. And I really really like the flowers because they're they're really tasty. On this trip, we've got about five or six of them, so I'm going to bring them home and just roast them. I kept a couple of them out, stuck them in some water and let them bloom. It's a really pretty flower. <laughs> 